After years of war and endless toil, Muhammad Reza Ahmadi, one of the citizens of Afghanistan, decided to give something new and creative to his community. We may have heard the name of this car many times in the past few days. A supercar that was born from the heart of Afghanistan's limitations and some users have even given it the title of Afghanistan's Lamborghini or Bugatti. Anyway, even though the Mata 9 supercar has a very handsome face and even has a charming voice, everything is not as you think. In the following, we will go with the latest published video of Mata 9 and then we will examine the new details that have been published. Afghanistan's National Supercar A strange car that just a few weeks ago, we saw the unveiling of its clay model, and now the Mata 9 prototype version has gone to the streets of Afghanistan for preliminary tests. But what truth is hidden behind this project? With the establishment of the Islamic Emirate of Afghanistan and the withdrawal of the American forces, have the Taliban achieved the technology of making hypercars? We will answer these questions below. But at the beginning, we invite you to enjoy watching the test drive video of this car on a snowy day and the beautiful sound of its exhaust. My name is Abbas, and welcome to the Black Mastery Box channel. I try to make the best video and the highest quality video with the good family of Black Mastery Box. So, if you are not a member of our family, I suggest that you become a member so that I can increase your general information from 0 to 100. Of course, you are 100, but I still want you to be much better. Afghanistan's first super sports car named Mata or Mata 9 has been introduced recently and is considered the first hypercar in the Taliban government. Next, we will go to everything we know about Mata 9 and check its depth. This project was built by engineer Mohammad Reza Ahmadi, the chief executive officer of Intop Company, and it is said that its design and construction took about five years, and as can be seen from the pictures, we assume that the design geometry of the Mata 9 Super Sports car from Bugatti Chiron be inspired. Amadi, who has always loved fast and sports cars, decided to build an innovative sports car and named it Mata 9. Afghanistan is a country that has faced several decades of war and continued political insecurity and stability. Nevertheless, this country has a very rich history and culture, which every year presents its attractions to tourists and travelers from all over the world. The number 9 is a symbol of creativity, courage, and ultimately, persistence. This car represents the dreams of a young man who will stop at nothing to achieve them. So far, we have noticed that the Mata 9 sports car was completed during a five-year process, which is the result of the work of 30 Afghan engineers. Mohammad Reza Ahmadi, the chief manager of the Mata 9 project, has also finished his studies in Iran, and by publishing his latest video on the internet, he thanked the Iranians for their hospitality. Finally, we can say that the Mata 9 is a car that for many of us is more than just a sports car. This car is a big dream made by a young and creative Afghan man. This has caused Afghan car manufacturers to look for new and creative opportunities and build and design a car that will attract everyone's attention with their unique appearance and performance. 
Mata 9 has been introduced to the market as one of these innovative cars, using attractive design and new ideas, as a symbol of the effort and progress of Afghanistan's automobile industry. The minimal and pleasant design of Mata 9 has made it to be introduced as one of the cars with an attractive and special appearance in the Afghan car market. Also, this car is easy to use in different conditions by using new technologies, and at the same time, it is light and powerful. Using a powerful engine and automatic transmission, this car moves easily at high speed and gives you access to an amazing driving experience. Previously, considering the location of the engine in the Mata 9 sports car and the shape of the radiators, we assumed that the Mata 9 sports car hosts a six-cylinder engine. Of course, there were many rumors that the Mata 9 supercar hosts the engine of karting cars under its chassis, but due to the weight and dimensions of this car, these rumors were dismissed in the first days. Now, it has been officially confirmed that the Afghan Mata 9 supercar uses a four-cylinder linear engine and naturally aspirated Toyota Corolla. Toyota Corolla's 1.8-liter L4 engine at its best can send 130 horsepower to the front wheels through an automatic or manual transmission. We have seen this 1.8-liter engine in the 2006 and 2008 Corolla models, and if we go to modern Toyota Corollas such as the 2014 to 2017 Toyota Corolla models, we will be faced with a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that produces approximately 150 horsepower. Do you think 150 horsepower will be enough for a car that looks and sounds like this? At the same time, Iranian Lamborghini delivered more than 200 horsepower with a Buick engine. Of course, since Hypercar Mata 9 is currently in the testing and development stages, Maybe a more powerful engine will be chosen for it or even the same Corolla engine will be strengthened a little. We should also mention that the gearbox of the Afghan sports car Mata 9 will probably be of CVT type. Another attraction of the rear view in Mata 9 is the presence of the dual active exhaust system, which is boring for the Corolla engine. Has compensated for it and extracted a very attractive sound from this 200 horsepower engine. Of course, this part still needs work and we hope that a normal or even active spoiler will be placed in the rear of the Mata 9 to increase the grip of the rear wheels and downforce of the car. The engine of the Mata 9 sports car is installed in the rear axle and this car is RWD, but the location of the radiator, which is on the left side of the rear bumper, is a bit strange. It doesn't matter how many cylinders your engine has or how much power it has, usually, the radiator is placed in the front part of the car. But since the water pump in the Toyota Corolla engine is not so strong and cannot circulate high-pressure water over long distances, the Mata 9 car radiator has to be installed next to the engine. Considering the small amount of air that reaches the radiator of the Mata 9 sports car from the side vents, it is likely that the engine will face a cooling problem. Next. We come to the brake system of the Mata 9 sports car, which according to its performance in snow and sliding and locking the wheels of the front axle, it is clear that the brakes of the Mata 9 sports car do not have an ABS, and the brake force distribution control system or the same EBD is not present in them. We also now know that the hypercar Mata 9 is mounted on a tubular chassis and its body is mainly made of fiberglass, which reduces the weight of the Mata 9 sports car. Tubular chassis may have more weight than plate and ladder chassis, but it also provides higher safety. Of course, in exchange for more safety, it will reduce the cabin space and the price and construction time will be higher. Next, we come to the suspension system of the Mata 9 sports car, which is said to be of the push rod type. We usually see this suspension system in super sports cars that experience a lot of downforce or downward force when moving. The push rod suspension system, in addition to better managing downforce, can also reduce the center of gravity of the car, and this suspension system is considered one of the important components in Formula One car.